kiddo. Mm -hmm. Another piece of folklore says Spanish moss does not grow above where gross injustice has taken place. And certainly 2019, we can see the injustice in slavery. So that's another piece of folklore. But y'all, the same year that Alice and Richard were hanging the square, there was another woman by the name of Rebecca Cheesewright. We know that Rebecca Cheesewright was convicted for taking a knife and slicing open the back of an infant. Of an infant, of a baby. Her sentence was to be flogged with 60 lashes right here in Justice Square. Him! Pressing her weight by down, Nora thrashed and struggled with the hands were too much. Her eyes began to lake and ache from lack of oxygen. At the last moment, she threw out her hand and grabbed something. Something metal. Something hard and candlestick. So with the last remaining ounce of strength, Nora took her candlestick and BAM! It took right down the head of her cap. Nora heard a satisfying thud as the body hit the floor, and Nora then heard a no. Well, turns out, Nora shined the light of the candle. She recognized Wally. Wally. Congratulations, Wally. you got her. <laughs> <laughs> now, another possible theory why Savannah is so haunted is that if the devil Sherman came to Savannah and slept here for 40 nights, no wonder Savannah is so haunted. The devil Sherman. Now, I mean, no offense to anyone from up north. New Englanders, uh, I mean, no offense, it's just a possible explanation. Now, if you look across the street, you see the people sitting up there in the veranda? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not safe. I'm trying to get out of here myself. They said, what happened to you? They said, well, one afternoon, I was just hanging out on my bed relaxing when I heard... I looked through the open door to my bedroom, and there's a little girl about four or five years old who came skipping, humming, right into my bedroom. She climbed up to the foot of my bed and started slapping at the bottom of my feet. So I thought, maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe I'm just tripping. But I then noticed my faithful four-footed friend, a pet bulldog who wasn't afraid of nothing. He came right up to the door to my bedroom, sent something else was in the room with me, and then just kind of cowed and whimpered right in the door to the bedroom. So my name is Bradford. The Gentium Bar, you know, it's great to go tonight. <laughs> 